Mr. Potato Head Goes Green, coming up after this. All right, it's still 70 years of Mr. Potato Head, and I wanted to open the set for a long time. I had it for a while, and I showed you a few times. My Mr. Potato Head videos are very, or just Potato Head. Is that what they're calling it? Yeah, just Potato Head now. Because everyone's important. The children, mom, Mrs. Potato Head. The grandparents are coming out. I don't know if they're out in the States yet, but... I'm really excited to get those. I'm going to show you um, a collection, even though I think I did that in some of my other videos, but most importantly, I do want to open up this set. I love plant-based plastics made with plant-based plastic. I don't, it was, there was this trend um, like last year where a lot of toy companies were doing it, but I'm not sure that they're doing it anymore which I don't know we, I'll show you when we see the plastic I love the colors and everything what's inside so a picture of what's inside I love this artwork too I definitely have to save this box and I'll show you the boxes that I have to save from all of this mix and mash I think that's so funny 15 pieces inside same size as you know and love all right so this tape on here seems to be coming undone which I guess that's part of the environmental thing, I guess. Not uh, plastic tape, again, which is so fantastic. There's the head. Cardboard stuff to keep it all worked out. I love, I love the theme of this. It's so good. The boots and everything is real stylized to uh, reflect the goes green concept. Check out the work pants and work boots so cute let me uh get a little stand here set up for you cap that one was not hidden inside so unique to a unique sculpt and mold to this specific set which is great and then here is the head and it is also different with the divots and everything it's a more organic potato so I also really love that. We'll have to do a comparison. Maybe I won't have time actually to show you my whole collection again. Anyway, I will link the other potato head videos below. Let's see all of the stuff that we've got in here. Why is it taking me so long? I've watched this on Amazon in Canada. That's where I got it. I've watched the price go up and down. And I don't even remember what I paid for it. I don't know if I paid more or less. But sometimes you can get it, I think, for under $10. And I think most commonly it is $13. But it could be as much as $20, $25 in Canadian funds. All right, let's put that on. Look, he's got some some loose edges around his pants, which I don't know, I think that's pretty cute. And let's start with his hands. So green gloves, because he's got a green thumb. Cute. Let's plug that into, I never can decide. Do I like uh, the very bottom or do I like it in the middle? Who knows what other pieces we're gonna get so we'll start at the bottom did I put his hand did did they accidentally give me two of the same hands no I'm just putting them on the wrong way thumbs go out well, that thumb goes out this thumb goes in cute I like that pose one hand up one hand down Hi, he's waving, and then he can hold something. I wonder what he's gonna hold. Maybe he's gonna hold this pot. Isn't that cute? Do I need the instructions to uh, tell me where that goes? There is some propaganda inside, but it probably just talks about the material. Yeah, there's no instructions. I saw that, I don't know. Okay, let's just put that potted plant in front of him right now. We have ears. They look like your normal everyday pink ears. Put those up here. Up 
here. I guess you can put them also down there too. Maybe we're not ready for the ears yet. Maybe I better put on the eyes. There's only one set of eyes. There's only one mouth. Oh, mouth goes here. Oh, it's hard to get these in sometimes, but it's fun to, you know, try. And then we have one nose and that looks like the quintessential regular nose. It seems to have an up and down. I guess you put the small part up at the top. Is that what you would do? Oh, but you have a mustache though first. So you have to put the mustache under the nose. In which way does it fit? That'll be the question. You have to put it in this notch. I guess you can use it as eyebrows too, right? Well, that's why. That's why Mr. Potato Head is so versatile. Oh no, let's find it quickly. So clumsy. Come on. Making a Mr. Potato Head might be a little harder than you think it is. Hey, what am I supposed to do with his mustache? Is his mustache supposed to go over his mouth? Or he can't have a mouth with a mustache? I don't know. I guess he can't have a mouth and a mustache at the same time. I like the brown line on it though. Let's see here. I like also this gap in his mouth that leaves. You saw me layer it though. Oh wait, you don't even want to use the those as eyebrows because he already has eyebrows. His eyes come attached with eyebrows. Look how interesting they're I guess that's the way that they're molded in there. That's real I like that. And I really like the texture on his skin. And then he has of a hat. So you know, you can make his ears higher or lower. We're gonna put them up higher. You can put this worm, oh no, coming out of his ear. That's not cool. There is an extra little hole. Oh, is that a hole? There's a hole that comes out of the back of his head, and there is a hole that comes out of his little door. So you could give him a worm tail, but you can also stick the worm out of his head like that. Or there's a flower, and there's also some leaves. So lots of plant life. Look, you can either layer them if you're gonna stick them out of his head. And then it's hiding. Well, that's kind of cool. But remember, we also have the plant. So you can choose which thing. Oh, that's, that's cricking. It's a very tight fit. You can put a little wiggly worm coming out of his pot like that. And then you could stick the sprouts. If you want to use everything, which of course I do, you can stick the sprouts coming out of his ears. I like that. Maybe it can be like hair if we lower his ears. Let's try that part. Put this ear here. Put this sprout in top of his ear. And then put this ear down low. I think his ears look silly down low. I think I liked it the other way. And then, can we layer his mouth? Does he have to have a mouth? You can also make him sad, I think. Yeah, sometimes it sticks off. We don't want him to be sad, we want him to be happy. And I guess you are supposed to like layer it if you want to, even though it doesn't go as flush as possible. I guess layering is okay. It's fun. There's infinite possibilities, especially when you bring out the other ones. Oh yeah, he's so cool. And then I thought you could put this pot on his head, but I guess it's a standalone accessory. 
and uh, he can hold it in that hand that he has stretched out. That's all of the pieces. I used them all, and he looks great. Unless I drop something here. No. All right. Here's the rest of my Mr. Potato Head. I guess I'm not going to show you my collection this time, but I am going to review more Mr. Potato Head. Go check out some of my other videos and look at my collection and tell me which things that you really want me to review. I'm going to compare his body to some of the other bodies at uh, the end of this video. So stick around. We'll see you next time. So how different is he? Here's the classic Mr. Potato Head. And you can see they added, they only have two holes in the side of him. And you really can see uh, the texture difference. The ears, however, look the same. These ones are bigger though, He's got bigger ears. And uh, no open hand or anything. And then let's look at, a more recent Mr. Potato Head and the ears are still bigger. They're bigger on this guy. And I remember an open hand like that on somebody, but I don't seem to see it here. So maybe not. There's Mrs. Potato Head with no hair, but the shape is the same. He might be a little plumper. I love uh, the organic. That was a really cool move for them to add the organicness. And of course, you can mix and match all of the pieces. It's the same peg hole. So there is lots of fun to be had. The worm is a great little addition for sure. That's Mr. Potato Head's bum. Don't look at his bum.